I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, dear brethren. Welcome to our 100 Days of Prayer series. And today we are in day 70. We are remaining with one month, exactly one month, 30 days, so that we can uh, culminate this 100 Days of uh, Prayer. And uh, we would like to thank you for connecting through this media, maybe in Facebook or in YouTube. And may God bless you abundantly for following us uh, consistently. And if you are joining us for the first time, this is a series of uh, prayers which we started uh, on March 27th. And we have been uh, communing uh, throughout the world uh, with other believers in the world to say that we have prayed for our countries and also we have uh, interceded on behalf of those who are suffering. And also we have called upon the Lord to uh, send us the rattling so that we can be able to prepare for the, uh, uh, his second coming. And uh, we are thankful for this father he has brought us. He has uh, answered our prayers and great is uh, thy faithfulness. Indeed, our, our Lord Jesus Christ has been with us. Today, we, our focus is um, the law of love the law of love and uh, we we will see this from the book of matthew 5 17 to 18 matthew 5 17 to 18 before we can lead shall we have a word of prayer so that we can connect to heaven at this moment our loving master in heaven we thank you we glorify your name for this great day that you have given unto us thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. At this moment, we want to uplift our souls into the able throne, that Jehovah God, you may speak to us, you, and Jehovah God, you may also listen to us as we seek you through prayers, O oh God. Thank you for my dear viewer, Brazil Brosa, as we listen to this message. I pray for your Holy Spirit to dwell in his heart, so that his heart will be just like the fertile land, that when the seed fell, it will bring forth great tidings, and Jehovah God, there was yield, that was found and uh, was experienced. That at this moment, we invoke thy holy presence to be with us, O Jehovah God. And I speak, as I speak, Father, tame my tongue so that I may speak of thy will. And at the end of it, O Jehovah God, we will be drawn closer and closer to thee. And Jehovah God, we will uh, be, uh, have an experience with you. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. The Bible, in the book of Matthew 5, 17 to 18, and we have been looking at this uh, book, uh, the Beatitudes, and also um, in the book of Matthew. We started with the book of Matthew 5. We have uh, uh, gotten insightful messages, uh, messages that challenge us to continue seeking our hearts and searching our hearts to see whether we are in line with, the, uh, uh, with God's Spirit. And the Bible says in verse 17 to, through 18, do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill. For assuredly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one titter will by no means pass from the law uh, till all is fulfilled. The divine beauty of the character of Christ, of whom the noblest and most gentle among men are but a faint reflection. Jesus, the express uh, image of the Father's person, the effigrance of his glory, the self-denying Redeemer throughout his pilgrimage of love on earth was a living representation of the character of the law of God. I know many are times when we come into uh, discussions with those who want to, uh, uh, to make uh, clear or who want to, uh, uh, to, to assume the law of God 
uh, say that the law was abolished at the cross or Jesus came to abolish the law. But they fail to understand that Jesus himself came to fulfill the law, not to abolish the law. And the laws which we see that uh, Jesus had um, uh, done away with or they do not apply to our lives today are the laws which uh, focused or which looked forward for him. For example, when Jesus was, uh, when, when Jesus came into this world, we know that he came to be the ultimate sacrifice. He was the lamb which was slain, and he replaced the lambs which were slain and which were sacrificed in the earthly tabernacle. And the laws that are binded with those kind of sacrifices is what Jesus came to fulfill because the, uh, uh, the, uh, the sanctuary was a type yeah the sanctuary was something that was to focusing on what Jesus would come to do on what Jesus would come to do and he came to die on our stand because the, 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 the wages of sin is death and we were to die eternally, the second death. But because Jesus came on our praise, whoever believes in him will be saved and will not die the second death. Believers of Christ, Jesus here is saying that he did not come to abolish the laws. The Pharisees, remember, they were insisting on people to keep laws in which them, they themselves did not keep. They had even they had come up with other laws which did not work for the betterment of Christians, did not work towards the salvation of Christians. But what happened? They brought those laws, and those laws were suppressing or were oppressing those who were keeping them. Therefore, Jesus was telling them that we, I did not come to abolish them because the Pharisees saw that Jesus came to abolish these laws. But Jesus came uh, said that I did not come to abolish these laws because their laws were not based in love. Their laws were based in strictness, in hatred. They wanted to oppress others and they wanted to magnify themselves without love. And that's why today we are speaking about the law of love. Which Jesus said that I did not come to destroy. And remember, when, uh, if you continue reading the scripture, there is a, 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 the verse that Jesus summarized the whole law and said, Love your neighbors, love your God. Therefore, the greatest law is what? Love. And that is what holds the whole entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation. The only one commandment that, that abides throughout the Bible is the commandment of love. Therefore, Jesus came to do what was in accordance to his will. He said that in his life, he said that he will he did not come. To abolish it, and there is no even a comma on or an iota that he removed from the scriptures. Remember, in Hebrew scriptures and in Greek also, the, uh, just a comma or a, 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 what we say a vowel, which uh, has a comma, a comma would have changed the meaning of a word. If you remove a comma, that meaning is different, and that's why it, he said that he did not come even to remove a comma or a full stop in his in the word of god in his life it is made manifest that heaven born love christ-like principles and lie the laws of eternal rectitude it is in his life that we can see love shown in his ministry what came from him is just love when he was feeding the, 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 the 5,000 people, it is life, love. When he was healing, love was seen. When he was working with his disciples, love was seen. The law of God is the law of love. Jesus revealed what, what keeping the law truly looks like. You can keep the law only by completely relying on the Holy Spirit for help. As you believe that he is going to help you to live a life of selfless love. And as you by faith do actions of love, 
his divine power will enable you and work in you to will and to do of his good pressure. If you are struggling with faithfulness to God's law, will you ask Jesus today to forgive you and fill you with his Holy Spirit? Will you ask him to help you, not just to keep the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law, which is selfless, sacrificial love to God and all people? May that be your prayer, that you will ask God to help you love others, that you will keep the law of love, that you will emulate him because he is love and we are supposed to be Christians. So we should be lovers. We should love even those who don't love us. We should be together with each and everyone who proclaims that he is a child of God. And we should show love to them. We should show love to our enemies. You should show love to the world. And when you do that, we will have accomplished the laws of God. Let me say this, without law of love, it is very difficult for us even to keep the commandment of God. And the young, rich, young, the foolish young, rich ruler was tested with his law, law and he failed. He was told, yes, you have kept the commandments because you have mentioned them. Jesus told that man that he came to seek of what can he do to attain the kingdom of God. And Jesus told him that keep the commandments. He said, ah, those ones I have kept them since I was very young. And Jesus told him, if you really indeed want to, uh, to uh, inherit the kingdom of God, go sell your property, share it to the poor. That's where the law of love was tested. He did not pass that test because he rejected that offer and he went on his way, having hated Jesus. Brethren, it is a high time that we will forsake selflessness that, uh, that, that, that we will forsake selfishness and we embrace selflessness. Through love, let us be ambassadors of Christ. Let us be ambassadors of love. And at the end of it all, we will have kept the laws of God. May God bless you and may he equip you so that you can be a blessing to others now and forevermore. Shall we humble ourselves for a word of prayer as we come to the end of this uh, day. Our kind and loving master, thank you for your faithfulness. Indeed, you have been faithful unto us, and Jehovah God, you have done marvelous things upon our lives. At this moment, we invoke thy holy presence to be in our midst. Help us, Jehovah, to do what is in accordance to thy will. We have seen that you, Christ, you portrayed the true love that we should live with this day, even to the extent of giving your life for our sake. Thank you, and may your name be glorified. We ask that may you fill our hearts so that you will lead us to love others and to proclaim of your goodness and of your mercies. At this moment, Jehovah God, we invoke thy holy presence in our midst. May you continue being with us. May you continue guiding us. In all our endeavors, may you help us to acknowledge thy presence. And in all our endeavors, Father, may we acknowledge that you are our God and may we uh, 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 um, um, allow you to, live in our, to dwell in our hearts so that you will be able to take us through our lives. Thank you because of your faithfulness and thank you because of the grace that you have bestowed upon our lives. Continue being with us, shielding us in your arms so that Jehovah God we will not be caught by these disease that have perished, uh, that many have perished through it. And Jehovah God, I pray for my dear viewer, the prayers that he has posted before thy throne of grace. May you answer those prayers in accordance to thy will. And Jehovah God, may you fulfill his, will, his needs. Um, a lot of people have no food on their table. They have no livelihood again because of this pandemic. Provide for them because you are a great provider. And at the end of it all, May we sing of your grace and say that indeed you have been with us and you have done marvelous things upon our lives. Continue helping us and continue guiding us in all our lives. For we have prayed this shortly, believing and trusting in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. May God bless you. May God shield you. And may God abide with you, not only now, but forevermore. 
And this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Stay safe. Let's meet tomorrow for the same episode. God bless you.